Kanye West raps in one of his songs, right? If you admire somebody, you should go ahead tell them. Because people never get their flowers while they can still smell them. I'm no rapper. I'll admit that much. But there's much to be admired in the lyrics that he shares in that song. For one, I'll practice it differently. I won't tell people that I appreciate them. Instead, I'll show them. Which is why I created the Rise and Rise series. Now this applies for people whether you inspired me from afar or whether you inspired me from a near proximity. I will still appreciate you and promote you and congratulate you and celebrate you in the same way. But I'd like to start with a mentor of mine. His name is Emmanuel Sobermoto. This is someone who has played a key role in guiding my journey, particularly within the business arena. So I'd like to appreciate him first. And so let's get well acquainted with his journey so that we can draw as much inspiration from it as we possibly can. So the reason that I, as Leseho Holani, have been on numerous platforms of influence is because someone by the name of Emmanuel Sobonoko actually opened the floodgates for me. He opened the doors of opportunity. And when I speak of opportunity and platforms of influence, I'm speaking the likes of Power FM, the likes of SAFM, Metro FM, Gassi FM, YFM, the list goes on and on. He even put me on platforms on television such as ANN7 when it was of course a platform of influence and the likes of the business report. So I'll be eternally grateful. Emmanuel is a young man of stature. One who has never worked a day in his life for any corporate entity or large company. Instead, he started off wanting to do his own thing very early on. He has numerous awards and accolades under his belt. But what's more significant is his philanthropic efforts that have made him someone who impacts the youth, someone who has a positive influence on the youth, and someone who has a goal for reaching the youth wherever they may be in any part of the country. Um, so when I was still in high school, um, doing grade 10 and 11, um, I wanted to do something you know, beyond just you know, going to varsity to get my degree and work for a corporate. And because of that, he's actually been able to reach levels that many young people can aspire to. Born in Johannesburg and raised in Limpopo by his grandmother until he was of school going age, Emmanuel is the typical young black man's story, the story of humble beginnings. Lesson number one, your background doesn't determine your future or your destiny, so move against the odds. Furthermore, it doesn't determine your character, so don't let it. To complete his primary and secondary schooling, Emmanuel then moved to Pretoria Social Movie. Later on in his life, he moved to Johannesburg to stay with his late mother. His mother in particular holds a special place in his heart. I was raised by a single parent, my mom, um, I saw rest in peace. And I think my mom, she taught me um, the power of hard work. You know, my mom, she taught me to believe in myself. My mom, she taught me um, that where you find yourself, make sure that you always add value. That was my mom, you know, and to be very courageous, you know. Um, and those, you know, principles has really groomed me to be the man that I am today. As a student studying a BCom degree in marketing with UNISA, Emmanuel knew that there was always something in him. Something intrinsic, an intrinsic passion for molding, grooming and building young people. That is why he actually created Ibu Noko Foundation, a non-profit organization. And for me, you know, first Ibu Noko Foundation, as I mentioned, Ibu Noko Foundation was my first baby before I went to form my Ibu Noko Foundation. It was more about, um, I want to be the change that I want to see in my community. Um, you know, I'm, I formalized my foundation when I was only 18, um, when I was still studying towards my becoming degree in marketing. Education is a key to opening many doors. Never look down on a person that's educated, whether formal or informally. Education is key to opening many doors. The interesting thing here is that when people start something, particularly business, they usually focus on the business and then only look into empowering people through social initiatives. Emmanuel took the opposite direction. He established Ibu Nopo Foundation and through his Back to Kasi initiative and drives, he would reach different parts of the country, the youth, and empower them accordingly through bringing influential, impactful, and masters of their craft into the township 
environment into the township economy so that people young people can be inspired to know that even i can get to that level make time for others you don't know what tomorrow holds for the next person they may be the key to your next door that is open some of the townships that this Back to Gassi initiative reached include Cosmo City, Sochangovi, Alexander, Tembisa, Zagan. The list goes on and on. He was on a mission. But over and above that, remember, he was reaching prisons. He was reaching young people in schools. He was a force to be reckoned with. So no wonder a lot of the media attention was brought and drawn towards his direction no wonder influential people were drawn towards the drives and initiatives that he was busy with because he was on a mission so gikalika ibunoko foundation um which as you saw in the presentation we're just collecting books going to different schools ngos prisons and over the years you know, in partnership with the Sir Ramaphosa Foundation, we're able to donate over 16,000 books across South Africa. Um, we mentor so many young people under my foundation, young people like Lena. Um, you know, we assist young people with batteries. Um, and also, you know, we encourage young people also to start their own businesses. This opened the door for Ibunoko Holdings, a marketing and consulting company that offers business strategy development, public relations, event management, and brand management. Create value before expecting a payoff. The key thing here, create value first. So Corporate SA was now familiar with Emmanuel, his brand, his name, and his influence. They really liked how humble he was, which is his biggest characteristic and what appeals to people the most, his humility. His vision was pretty clear as well. And the fact that he had a lot to offer and a lot to do. Lesson number four. Your network is your net worth. I mean, Emmanuel gave me the opportunity to speak at events on platforms alongside the caliber and the astuteness of DJ Spoo, alongside Skinny Spoo, the founder of Skinny Spoo Socks, alongside Tabelon Cholo, which, who is a media mogul in his own right, alongside Tepo Musiedi, a business consultant and founder and owner of TMMBS Conglomerate, amongst many others. <laughs> I mean, I even had a meeting with the likes of Meputi Mahanyel. Not in my wildest dreams would I thought that possible. Furthermore, I had back and forth emails with the likes of Ntate Bonang Mohade, the former chairperson of Business Leadership SA. He's the former group chair of Shell SA. He's currently the chancellor at Free State University and is also the group chair of the Bitvest Group. In fact, let's actually hear what Ntate Bonang Mohale has to say about this remarkable young man that this episode is on. My name is Bonang Mohale. I'm the Chancellor of the University of the Free State and Chairman of the Bitvest Group Limited. I really just want to give an endorsement to the work of an incredible young man, a good quality human being, Ntate Emmanuel Bonoko. The work that he and the team are doing is truly extraordinary. We are told that sons learn by looking at the back of the heads of their fathers. But these youngsters are really standing up to be counted. They are really solving today's problems. There are no people that can be helped by or benefit from institutions that are not the direct result of their own character. So let's take a deep dive into some of the things that Ibu Noko Holdings has been able to achieve under the leadership of Emmanuel Sobo Noko. They've been able to work with some of the largest corporations within South Africa. This, the likes of NYDA, IDC, the ESCOM Foundation, Cyril Ramaphosa Foundation, Standard Bank, NetBank, APSA, the PBT Bank Group, I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on, literally. Don't wait for the world to recognize your greatness. For you to be a great entrepreneur, for you to be a significant somebody in life, learn to embrace the process. <laughs> Through the process, there are challenges. Through the process, people will tell you that you're not good enough. 
Through the process, you've been told that you won't amount to anything. Yeah. Mm. And I, I've been told so. I remember years back when I was 19, I went to YFM in Hyde Park to go and pitch about my business and what I do. Mm. And they told me, that Rwanda, go and find a job. Stop doing what you do. <laughs> Let's take an even deeper dive into some of the accolades and awards that can be attributed to Emmanuel himself. All right, once more, congratulations to uh, your awards Look for winning it. On, all right, so yeah. tell me, you've been winning these awards back to back. Firstly, he was named Forbes 30 under 30. He's won the BBQ awards for both his foundation for social impact, as well as for even Open Holdings as business or entrepreneur of the year, right? Um, he's won under 702, 702 has awarded him. He's won the 40 under 40 business icons in Africa. But you know what? Let me not ruin it. Instead, this clip will do more justice. Just read this about yeah. you, some of the accolades that yeah. you have for the people to understand who we are talking to here. <clears throat> you have received the, the barbecue. Yeah. BBQ or barbecue? BBQ. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The BBQ Awards in Paris Palais Community Builder of the Year in 2019. Yes, sir. And you received the Kia Young Business Achiever of the Year in 2017. Yes, sir. Forbes Africa 30 Under 30 Entrepreneurs to Look Out For in 2016. Yes, sir. Entrepreneur of the Year at the SA Man of the Year Awards 2016. Yes, sir. So in 2016, you were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He named named African Hero of the Month mm. by Real Africa. Yes, sir. The US-based magazine named him one of the 100 most influential leaders in the world. Mm. Under 30. Yes, sir. So all this work, you did it under the age of 30. Yes. We don't just do videos for the sake of doing videos here on this channel. So here's five key takeaways that we can take from the rise and rise journey of Emmanuel Sorbonogo. Number one, define your own success. You know, we measure success based on how much money you have. But for me, it was beyond that. So I had to define my own success. That Emmanuel, what is success for you as a young leader? And for me, success is about impact. For me, success is about influence. For me, success is about doing what I love. Number two, use social media effectively use your social media effectively to impact lives not to impress people but we don't use social media effectively we spend time you know watching things that they don't even add impact on our own lives we spend time you know communicating to, to people that don't add value so i've used social media effectively to brand myself to access possible opportunities and to do well so guys use social media effectively don't use it to impress people who don't even care about you. Most of us, we just do things just to impress people who don't even care about us. But use it effectively to connect with the right people and believe in yourself that all things are possible. Number three, be disciplined. And one thing they taught me about business is the power of character and discipline and also you know leadership management um, I see so many young people also they want funding but they don't have discipline in place they don't even have character you know so for me um, they taught me that you know even if now you don't have funding the time you get funding you must still be disciplined you know you must still have the leadership within your business you know and even you as an individual entrepreneur and for me they helped me you know those kind of principles and they kept me going and uh, yeah so far I'm grateful Number four, have mentors, but be true to yourself and create value for your mentors. Okay, um, something that I've learned on my journey is that um, it's good to seek mentorship, but you still do 90% of the work. True. So in most of young people, they seek mentorship, but they're not willing to go out and work and do their part. So I had to do the work and, and go and present to a possible mentor that please, I mean, mentor me, but this is what I've done. This yeah. is what I can do. And it's easy for people to believe based on what you have done. Yeah. You know, don't go say, I'm thinking of starting, um, I'm about. People yeah. don't like that. Say, this is what I've done, and I'm looking mentorship based on the following. You know, it might be spiritually, it might be finances, it might be business. So be specific but now I went to Puti Mahanyele, um the former groups of Shanduga yes, um, one, holdings. yes one of the 
influential, powerful businesswoman that we have in Africa, exceptional woman, and she was able to really open doors for me to learn. And even I had the honor to work too close to Sir Ramaphosa due yes. to her. You know, she really opened so many doors. But she could see um, the way that we have done, my man. Yeah. You know, the track record. So it was, it was easy for it to really invest towards what we're doing. So Puti Mahanyele and the likes of Mam Felicia Mavuza also they've been there quite a lot. Um, the least is endless. On your own personal journey, I mean, you've spoken about mentorship uh, yeah. quite a lot. And mentorship relationships can be difficult if the mentee also doesn't understand what their role is in driving the relationship. Yeah. What's your take on what makes for a good mentorship relationship? Um, I'll say that um, as a young entrepreneur, if you're looking for a mentor, um, you must be able to study the, those people, you know, in terms of who they are, what they stand for, and also be able to relate with them. You know, because sometimes, especially young people, you want to chase people because of their status, their titles, and because of their good money. But for me, all the mentors that I have, you know, I was studying them over the years, you know, in terms of who they are, what they stand for. And the time I had the honor just to meet up with them, um, it was quite humbling. And from the word go, I mean, they were sold. You know, they will say, you know what, we are in support of what you do. I mean, uh, people like your um, Wendy Luhabe, you know, uh, Bonam Mahali, you know, Bupuchi, you know, they are. They, they, they've been there for me and I'm learning quite a lot from them, you know. So over the years, I've been studying them. So I'll advise, you know, young people, young entrepreneurs, you know, when I become influential, who are seeking mentors that study them, you know, know who they are and what they stand for and don't chase people because of um, status or titles. Yeah. Number five, love what you do. Have passion. Um, for me also, is the love of what I do. You know, I love what I do. So most of us here, we're not prepared to go through the process. Let's stop admiring people that, wow, DJ is doing well. Wow, Putima Hanyele is doing well. Wow, Kriptom is doing well. But we're not prepared to go through what they went through. Mm. We just admire. I, 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 especially when I talk with young people, they just admire that, wow, when we are doing it, we admire your work. Here's a bonus. Collaboration is the new innovation. I have to repeat this one. Collaboration is the new innovation. So stop putting each other down as black young men. Come on. So there's power in treating people well. So I've learned off on my journey not to look down on any person. And obviously I can't help every person, but when I when I can with what I have, I always try to help and to grow further. So it's about time that from here on we support each other, we join hands, and by doing so we can do far. So there's power in supporting each other. He's ever the visionary. Not one to be tied down, not one to be limited. He has his eye on the prize. And there's a specific destination that he's going to. But for you to get the full picture, let him speak for himself. And then the most important question, what next for Emmanuel Bonoko? I love what I do. You know, I, I, I count myself blessed. Um, God has blessed me and I, I, I'm proud of what I've achieved over the years and you know I'm able to create jobs for so many young people um, even the foundation the work that we have done over the years um, but also I don't want to limit myself you know I don't want to live in myself that this is what I can do as I've said Africa that's where I see where I'm going um, I mean even this morning I saw on that list and I saw my name there is mentioned like every I'm on this list I don't know even what's, go, what's going on you know but I see Africa you know, and that one, I can't even hide it. You know, there's demand. I'm, I've been doing a number of shoes this year in the regard of Africa in terms of um, enterprise development, um, where we are, you know, as Africa in terms of media advertising, how the world is evolving. So I see myself in Africa, but I don't want to limit myself as a young person. There's so much that I'm still going to do through my foundation, even local holdings. And um, yeah, let's hope for the best. But I don't want to limit myself. I mean, I just started to become the green market, but I feel in years to come, I'm also going to sort of um, expand to other businesses. And venture to other things Absolutely. as well. Yeah. yeah. For more on what the future holds for him, please follow this here, remarkable young man on his journey, because I know that it's only surging. He hasn't reached or even tipped his pinnacle as yet. He's available on all social media platforms. And if you want a daily dose of inspiration, believe me, you need to follow this man but thank you thank you thank you for hanging around until the end i hope there was value here and i hope his journey has inspired you to rise from your bed to rise from your chair to rise from your thoughts and actually take action on all that it is on all that it is that you want to do 
but over and above that guys please remember to like subscribe hit the notification bell and then remember once more it starts with you Lesson number five, take care of yourself first. Your health is truly your wealth. 